Uh, here's a little safety mod for the Ameritron a AL811 or the AL811H. Uh, I got this one faulty with blown valves. Um, here's one of the original valves, or one of the valves that was in it anyway. It's got a hole in it. You can see where it's actually sucked in because <laughs> of the vacuum. Glass is obviously heated up for whatever reason. Um, probably gone gassy and arced across and somehow melted the glass or something. <clears throat> so, you can see it's gone gassy here where it's all gone white. Um, this was one of the other valves that was in it. This one doesn't look gassy, but probably where that one's gone, it's damaged this one as well. Uh, the There you can see the... Uh, one of the filament tension springs is just flopping around in there where one of the filaments has gone so one filament still works anyway on that one so uh, what I did was put a few new valves in and added a little protection uh, not really a circuit but anyway basically put a fuse in line with the anode supply so you got the high voltage usually comes off of this pin and before if anyone's going to do this uh, they've got a safety interlock switch on these but that just disconnects AC power so if you uh, well, the best thing to do is switch it off from the mains unplug it leave it about two minutes make sure you're in uh, HV you've got the switch onto HV make sure the plate voltage is all the way down give it five minutes carefully take the lid off and run a, a connection from I'll just clip it on there because that's chassis ground uh, on there first and then onto the uh, anode supplier just to make sure it is, uh, <laughs> there is no voltage in it once you've done that um, as I say this is the high voltage power supply output usually this wire connects underneath the board up underneath there um, but I've disconnected it it basically runs from there underneath and down to the bottom of the plate choke down there. So I've disconnected that lead, now I've run it well, from the power supply end, it comes off of here, it goes through this a 10 watt 15 ohm resistor and then back and then through a 630 milliamp 20 mil 240 volt fuse, then off it goes to the plate supply and what that does is this is a 630 milliamp fuse uh, with the 811 should be drawing no more than 550 milliamps on the plate anyway the 811H is 750 milliamp on the plate so maybe with an 811H could use uh, an 800 milliamp fuse although even this 630 milliamp fuse is not really going to blow until you get to probably at least 2 amp anyway so 630 milliamps fine that's, that's going to be fine as, as long as there's no faults anywhere and uh, the point of the resistor is uh, this is only a 240 volt fuse so it could technically arc across once it's blown or as it's blowing it could arc across so got that in there just to limit the current and that's just mounted on this bit of perspex which is screwed onto this uh, brace so that's just a little sort of safety mod so if anything does go wrong inside the valves or anywhere else in the power supply because you've got a lot of a lot of energy stored in these capacitors um, that's the problem even though it's only a sort of 550 milliamp or 750 milliamp power supply in effect um, lots of energy stored in the smoothing caps so uh, if anything does go wrong you've got a, a lot of current there for a short time and uh, that's what can happen so now if anything arcs over this fuse is just going to pop and uh, if that does pop you know there's something wrong to investigate so little mod I've also done this mod on uh, a Yaesu FL2100B same mod uh, I think I used a 500 milliamp fuse on there because they're uh, 2.4 volt uh, kilovolt at uh, I think half an amp. So anyway, little safety mod, fairly easy to do for the Meritron AL811.